In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an underline using HTML code similar to what a link would look like, but this text would not be hyperlinked, it would just be underlined. And we're getting started right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you get better at coding so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, or for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's get into the screen capture of this tutorial. I'll see you there. All we have to do is go into our HTML code, put our cursor where we want to start the underline, open a pointy bracket, type the letter U, close the pointy bracket. And then where we want the underline to end, we then have the closing U tag. Save that file, refresh this page, and we see an underline was added right there. And contrary to what you might think, typing underline in here is not gonna work. That's not recognized as a correct tag. We see the underline went away. It's gotta be the letter U. That is the correct tag for HTML underlines. So now that you know how to do the HTML underline, I'm gonna show you how to do the CSS underline as well, just so you have that in your repertoire. So we wanna add a span tag. I'm going to add a span and we're going to apply the underline to that span. So in our header section, we open a style tag and we close the style tag. We type in span, open and close curly brackets, use the property text decoration and the value underline. In this case, it's not you. In this case, it is actually underline for CSS. And as we can see, we had the underline added all the way for this, this whole sentence, which is not what we wanted because I did this wrong. I have an opening span tag, but this second span tag is also an opening span tag. So I messed that up. Make this a closing tag, save this file again, refresh the page, and now our underline is just where we want it to be. And when you do it in CSS, we can easily add more things to underline. Like say you want to underline this headline. We can just up here type in h1 comma that's going to apply to both of these selectors and now our headline is underlined something else we can do that's also very cool with the text decoration once we have that set up is use the value of line through like a type and that will instead of underline it puts a line through it like that and you can also use another one called overline I've never found a use for this, but maybe you will. It puts the line over top instead of underneath, which is interesting, maybe not useful, but at least it's interesting. So now you know how to add an underline with HTML, you know how to add an underline with CSS, and a line through and an overline with CSS. So that's how easy it is to create underlines in HTML. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, click on the subscribe button, then click on the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome content. And then click on that card that just appeared in the top right of this video for some awesome resources. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.